여러분은 하체이 trust you really. <laughs> so I'll put it there just to show that I do trust you really. Oh, uh, paparazzi. <laughs> I did a situations but getting it all completely wrong it would be quite a nice little thing 
and um, having uh, computer powers to mess up machinery, like barcodes and things like that at the till. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing uh, out and going anywhere and, and messing up any sort of computery stuff by her inside knowledge of how they work, which is her inside knowledge, not mine, because <laughs> I'm still on dial-up. <laughs> Stop you getting viruses. <laughs> they can't be bothered. They get halfway down the line. Oh, let's just turn back. It's not worth it. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, okay. We'll get the noisy people out of the way first. <laughs> um, now that Norman's released a stand up DVD, do you plan to follow suit? I wouldn't mind releasing a stand up DVD, yes. But as the, at the moment, it's not in the pipeline, as they say. Are you but, uh, more uh, around the place, yeah. I haven't got a website, so they're not on it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Just all word of yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can choose if you like. I don't know. <laughs> Just carrying on from the question Brett asked you. Have you ever thought about doing gigs outside of the UK? I'm from Ireland and I'd love to see you play in Dublin. There are a couple of comedy festivals such as the Bulmers Festival that I think you'd be brilliant at. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they just had one, haven't they? They have, yeah, the Bulmers yeah. one, I think. Yeah. So, um, well, yes, I have done Dublin a couple of times. I've done the, uh, maybe secretly, <laughs> or with other people. Um, the Olympia Theatre, I think. And uh, they, uh, there was, First time I ever went there was for a festival that was a long time ago. But yeah, no, I'd definitely go to Dublin. It's the first time I had proper Guinness, I think. <laughs> Mind you, even the Irish pubs aren't real Irish pubs anymore, are they? They're all Irish theme pubs, even in Ireland. How mad's that? And it's not proper Guinness either. They've been taken over and they watered it. Oh, down. no, where's that made? <laughs> Taiwan or something? No, it's still in Dublin, but another company make it now. And oh, there's no. huge debates, is it really Guinness? Oh, God. Who made, like, Smirnoff? No, a company, <laughs> a company called Diageo took over Guinness. So right. they made debates. It's not Guinness anymore. No, it probably isn't. My mum, when my mum had me, <laughs> what was she talking about? Now? My mum was prescribed Guinness on the National Health. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> that's very common. To get over the shock, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're cool, get what we got here, real quick. Give us some Guinness, she'll get over it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I used to drink Guinness actually when I was about three years old because they prescribed my mum Guinness and then she carried on drinking it <laughs> forever. And then uh, I used to drink it when I was about three, be a little drunk toddler with a white moustache <laughs> <laughs> from the froth, not hormone problem. Get <laughs> 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 that right. Who oh. oh, else? Anyone else got Hello. <laughs> Would you like to have done a, um, another magic trick in uh, Jonathan Creek? Oh yeah, another magic trick or another episode or Bin is sidekick. That would have been good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I did an episode of Jonathan Creek, which was that was fun, and um, I was a magician, and they filmed it at a comedy club, so I was quite at home there. But the, what they did, they had. Uh, uh, instead of doing a trick with cards, I had to do this trick with bananas. And it was like juggling the bananas and then going, was this the banana you first thought of? You know, instead of, was this the card you first thought of? And um, because it was under hot lights and they did it with film and they had to take it from all different directions with the same camera, these bananas, we went through the whole banana counter of Asda, which was a superstore Asda, because every time I peeled a banana it just went boom, fell on the floor. Because they'd all got hot and damp, and they just went. Bzz. So uh, that was an episode of Jonathan Creek I was in. Actually, I was, I was writing my Edinburgh show this year, and I borrowed Alan Davis's office to write my show in. But that was quite nice. Because like, like me, he just went there to fall asleep, and I did exactly the same. So it was quite good. <laughs> Don't hire an office on your own. It's really boring. <laughs> you just think, oh, I'm going to write a load of jokes, then go. Mm -hmm. Wake up and go home.